If your leader is in a bad attitude, your team can't really feed off of you because they're all looking for you to direction anyways. This is the first job where I really honestly feel valued as a, um, as a coworker and I feel um, like we're a family here. I really do, I feel like it is just one big family. For me, my personal goal is that my team feels loved and cared about. You know, like I, if I'm making them feel cared for, they're gonna be able to give that genuine care to the guests. So in the morning, we prep all of our vegetables and such um, fresh. Our cheese sauce is all prepped and portioned. Um, our like our, our beef pot roast is prepped fresh. Um, and so that's one of the roles that I do in the morning is to get, uh, well, me and an, another lady, um, we start that all and get it all ready to go for the day. I love it. I love the, uh, it's like random chaos, but everybody works so good as a team that it just flows beautifully. And I actually thrive off of that. I feel like I accomplished something when we have our rushes like that. I love it. You know, then from there we start breaking things down. It's like, you know, what makes a guest feel really cared about? And at the end of the day, you know, being hospitable, genuine, and warm to that guest when they walk in, we, we do that just naturally at this point. So now what we've been working on is like, how do we wow them by showing them how much we care by getting their food out as fast as humanly possible, being hyper efficient inside everything, you know, getting everybody to really come together. I think people would be surprised to know that like, a family of four, the average order has about 13 team members that interact with their order. So we need 13 people to be spot on in order at the end of the day to get that order out in under four minutes and it to be accurate, delicious, and just perfect for them. One of my big jobs is to bring the food trays out to the tables. And so then I meet a lot of people and I have made a lot of friends. I mean, they're just friends. And, and sometimes they'll say, oh, we stopped to see you today or something. And that always makes me feel good. So uh, one of my main jobs is to bring the food trays out. And I like that. And then take away the dirty trays and, and to make sure that whatever they ordered is right and good. And if they need anything, I'm willing to run and get the ketchup. And, and it's not, it's not really a job even. I, I love it here and it's not even hard work. Sometimes they'll say, oh, I can take that tray. And then I would say, oh, but it's my job and I love it. So it doesn't matter, I can take your tray. <laughs> and then I also run out to cars. Mm -hmm. And I do a lot of restocking up front. And I do not, do, I do not work on the, um, I do not take orders. That's, that computer thing is a little, sometimes over my head, so. <laughs> Looking at Menominee Culver Sales, you would never assume that we have the smallest parking lot in the entire system. So efficiency is kind of what we've been focusing on over the last five years. And some of our big plans are that we want to possibly knock out the patio and get the drive through to be wrapping around the patio so that you'll head out that way. So I can get seven cars in a row that are all right next to that curb. Looking at doing tablet ordering coming up here, um, hopefully next uh, summer that'll be implemented. We'll actually have like butt line busing out there. So when the line fills up, we might have four team members out there taking four orders at a time to really keep her kicking and going through because, you know, as we've seen, when you make something fresh to order, and that's probably my favorite thing about, you know, working at Culver's is every day when I go on break, I get to just have an awesome, awesome break of something fresh and delicious. You know, but, you know, as that has grown and more and more people have found out like, Man, it's so worth a four minute wait to have somebody make it fresh for you instead of pulling it out of a warming drawer. You know, we have to keep being on top of how we are being innovative and in getting more orders into the queue. And then in the kitchen, maintaining the efficiencies that we've created so that those orders are still going out quickly. Everybody counts. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, like we hold the door for the for the ones that can't walk so good. And um, 
and talk to the little children. And, and sometimes if there's a little fussy one, if you just go and talk to him a little bit or ask him if he's gonna eat a French fry or something, then they'll smile and just to make people very comfortable and, and just to let them know that we just love them and we appreciate them, we appreciate them coming in. And uh, I, I just love them, <laughs> I just love all my people. <laughs> So Gary, Gary was the owner before Michael, and he was here when I started. And we, and we often get comment, well not often, but we get comment cards from the customers, and you hope they're good. And well, Michael or Gary got one and said that Sylvia is a goat, and he said to Michael, I can't go tell her that. There's no way I can go tell Sylvia that. I can't call her a goat. And so Michael came out and he read it to me. And first I thought, I must have really ticked somebody off. <laughs> and then I thought, no, that was kind of rude actually. <laughs> And then he told me what it meant, and we laughed. We laughed for days over that. <laughs> so now I have a little, a little um, stocking cap with a goat on. I have a little goat picture in the office. I have a little goat picture on my locker. <laughs> and so now they call me the goat. And and I and I just, I just treasure that little comment. <laughs> yes.